Hey everyone, Ram Dev here from WebSharks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Zencash on a WordPress site that is currently running QuickCache. As you may have heard, uh, QuickCache is uh, changing its name to Zencash, and as part of that process, you will need to switch to the Zencash plugin to continue receiving updates. Uh, installing Zencash on a site that is already running QuickCache is very straightforward. Uh, all of your QuickCache settings will be preserved, and uh, if QuickCache is currently active, it will be deactivated, and Zencash will be activated with all of the uh, QuickCache settings that you may have changed. So there's not a whole lot to do here, but I'm going to walk you through it just in case you have any concerns about how to make this happen. You can see here that I have QuickCache installed and it is currently enabled. This means when I install Zencash, uh, Zencash will be enabled as well. I'm also going to go down here and just change one of the default options. Uh, this option, 404 requests, is disabled by default. I'm going to go ahead and just enable that so that you can see that this setting gets copied over to Zencash after I install it. Come down here and hit Save All Changes. And now let's go ahead and install Zencash. We'll go over here to Plugins. You can click Installed Plugins. And then come up here to Add New. And then come over here to the search box. And we're just going to type in Zencash and press Return. And you can see here the first result is Zencash. Go ahead and click Install Now. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to install the plugin. Hit OK. And once WordPress finishes downloading and installing the plugin, you can go ahead and click Activate Plugin. And that's it. Zencash is now installed. There's nothing else you need to do. You can see here that. Uh, your quick cache options were preserved by Zencash. Zencash automatically detected that uh, quick cache was installed and migrated those options over. It also cleared out the current cache so that it could be rebuilt by Zencash. And if you come down here, you'll see that the quick cache plugin was deactivated and the Zencash plugin is now active. Over here, you'll see that the Quick Cache icon and the Zencash icon are still visible. Uh, the Quick Cache icon is visible um, even though Quick Cache is currently disabled, but that's just because we have not refreshed the page yet. As soon as we click Zencash, you'll see that option go away. So let's go ahead and click Zencash. And here are the Zencash options. You can see there's a new design, slightly refreshed UI. And you can see the uh, quick cache option is now gone. And if we come in here to enable disable in the Zencash options, you'll see that Zencash is currently enabled, just as it was with quick cache. And if we come down here to 404 requests, you'll see that 404 requests are also enabled because it, they were enabled with quick cache. So that's it. That's all there is to it. There's really not a whole lot you have to do. If you uh, need more help, you'll find a quick cache uh, migration tutorial over here on our website. If you go to zencache.com, you will see uh, the knowledge base icon up here. You can just click that. And if you look through here, you'll find the how to migrate from quick cache light to zencache light. If we click that article, you'll see this video that you're currently watching, along with the step-by-step -step migration. And if you, for some reason, cannot install Zencash through the WordPress dashboard, if you need to download the zip file and install it, uh, those instructions are here in the Knowledge Base article. And down here at the bottom, we have uh, a few frequently asked questions. 
And if you need further assistance, uh, please do post a question in the Zencash community forum. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you post there. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.